<laughs> it's not any different. If you're all right, you're not right. dressing right, you don't have the money, and blah, 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 or these really hip, you know, really lanky lesbians that are wearing $8,000 blue jeans, and, you know, yeah, and stylists and shit, yeah, you look great. What about, you know, it's just the same shit. It's not yeah. different. So we don't have to spend, I don't waste time in the discussions. But the response is both love and rage. Mm. And that is the only response. I mean, they either love you or hate you, but at least they're responding. Madonna said, I don't care what you say as long as you're talking about me. Ah! <laughs> That's great. It's not, I'm not, you can tell, this is, I'm not malicious. This is an opinion. And if someone doesn't like the opinion, so what? I have an opinion. I have a right to it. But watch what women do. They'll just, they'll burn the lines down. Oh, dear. And then they'll love, love, love. There'll be a passionate response either way, I can promise you that. Right, right. Oh, I tell you, I could say anything about guys, and I'll never get any, like, nothing negative from men, ever. And I could say the most insulting <laughs> things. <laughs> and they, nothing. And I, I speak to them, like, regularly. I hear from a lot of guys, and they're just... Listen, smart men have always been around my message. Because they're just like, you know what, she got a point. I'm not, I'm not the smartest son. I'm not insulting to men in any way. I'm not even going to qualify that shit. I mean, I'm not even going to... But men will literally, when you just lay out a fact, they'll go, oh, it's pretty hard to argue with that. Yeah, I mean, that's, oh, okay. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of guys just do, do that. I don't spend a lot of time discussing much at all. With men. I mean, unless you came from my body and said from my breast, I'm pretty much not interested. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, I, I don't, I'm not going to say that. I don't, I don't, you know. There are plenty of women I, I would rather be talking to, so, and there's plenty of them. So I spend my time with those women, and I spend my time in those discussions that grow me and feed me. Right. You know, right. And, and, and are rooted in, in our, her story and in, and, and in actions that took place that were incredibly courageous. And, and nobody knows whatever. You know, I mean, Dale Spender, I, I, I recently had the privilege of hearing her speak. I can't, even, I can't even tell you what it was like to hear her speak. Uh, Adrian Rich, I just sat in an audience and watched her very slowly walk to the podium. Yeah. I can't even tell you. I mean, pick what you want to do. Listen to Adrian Rich for an evening or sit around with a bunch of women who are saying that they're not affected by body image. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> well, well, then tell me this. How do you, I mean, I, somehow I feel like we have to do something to, to ed, I don't know, I don't want to act like, oh, I'm so educated. This is a female disease right here, okay? We don't have to do anything for anyone else. So you're responsible for one person, you. You, you don't have to go and move any movement. You don't have to do any of the social work. While patriarchy is destroying it faster than you'll ever heal it, women are still doing all the cleaning. Okay, let's talk about domestic violence. When you say to social workers, every bit of work you're doing is the most ridiculous work ever, because domestic violence is at an all-time worldwide high. So it hasn't changed one bit. As a matter of fact, it's gotten much worse, okay? And you're doing all the work while they continue to beat. So that's slavery right there. You clean up our mess. That's like being Mother Teresa. You got the Catholic Church burning everything down, destroying countries, taking over, apartheid, here we go, Ireland, you know, India, you want to keep going, Australia, penal colonies, let's go, Church of England, Church of England, Church of England, and the women are cleaning up the poor. Dorothy Day, who started the Salvation Army on many things, she said it brilliantly. She said, when I take care of your poor, I'm a saint. When I ask why they're poor, I'm a communist. Oh, wow. Okay, so, no, it's mm. not doing any good. You don't need, all you need to do is one woman and one woman and what? Just speak the truth. Just speak the truth. It doesn't matter. Just speak the truth. It doesn't matter. Just speak the truth. And the ones who hear the truth gravitate towards that. And then it's just a bunch of truth women hanging out, not starting a committee. It doesn't work. Cooperative doesn't work. hasn't worked yet. Committees don't work. hasn't worked yet. We have not gained any power. We have not gained any power at the speed of light, Monsanto. Monsanto, by the way, just filed for the patent on grain. Did you know that? Yeah. Okay, 55% of the world lives on grain. When you control the world's food, what do you control the world? While lesbians are sitting around chatting, that's already happening. Right, right. China has just said to America, when you had your industrial revolution, you didn't give a shit, and we don't give a shit. The waste that is going into the world now is beyond anything you could imagine, okay? Go wrote, 100 years ago, wrote about the nuclear. If you knew what we were sitting on top of, you would be too horrified to get out of bed. Mm. It's already done. There isn't one inch, not one square inch of the world's ocean that isn't covered in garbage. Not one square inch. It's done. Okay? Now, I, I've been working with John. I mean, John, these are re revolutionary people in the field for years and years. It's done. Now, that is not overwhelming. It's actually freeing. Mm. You ain't changing nothing. You better act like you're living in a war zone. You better protect yourself like you're living in a war zone. No better protection. 85% of all disease directly contributed to lifestyle. Okay, there it is. There's that. And you better guard yourself like you're living that way, and you better connect with women because that's your only hope.
that's all there is. No question. Oh, yeah, you just uh, kind of, you hit me right, right in the chest a little bit. Well, you know, it's okay, because let me tell you what it is. It's not a hit, it's an embrace, and every one of us who know anything has felt that over and over and over again. The fear of women is, Sean, you said it, the price for telling the truth is death. Right. But what you don't realize is resurrection was stolen from us, too. <laughs> 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 and you know what? Mary Magdalene was hot. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I'm saying. It, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Laugh, and we cackle. I howl loudly. You know, I live my life, the truth. I show my sons what a real woman is and lives like and feels and stands for. That is the representation. And um, done deal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I'll drop bloody dead. But when I do drop dead, I want the opening of a Vita. That's the funeral I'm talking about, people. <laughs> <laughs>